So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create custom crates with script. The add-ons you'll be needing are just SKB and script itself. The first thing you're going to want to do is just hop into your text editor of your choice. Mine is Visual Studio Code. So first you want to get a command for getting a crate. So what I've typed here is this line makes sure that the person who typed the command is an operator on the server, so is an admin. Trigger, so basically this is what the command will trigger. It will give a player chest named place crate in green. Then the next thing we're going to create is on place. So this is going to be the actual creation of the crate. Then we're going to check if the player's tool is chest named green place crate. So this is just us checking if the hold item of the player is the crate. Then we're going to add the event blocks location, which is the location where you place the block. And then the variable is called crates block, which stands for location. And then an asterisk. So basically the asterisk means that this variable is a list. So you can add as much as of anything that you want to this variable. And then this line here, basically it sets a variable crates location and then the crate we've just created. So the events block location that we just added to this and then the delay of that crate. So we're setting that to a default of 10. What we can do is up here, we can do it and then delay and we could set it to 10. And then down here, we're going to change this to delay like this. Basically, this makes it easier for people who want to edit the script to change whatever, to change the delay to whatever they want the delay to be. And then this, this sets the variable crates location and then the crate we just created, then delay right now. So this delay is the maximum delay. That This delay will never change unless you create a new crate with a different delay. This will always be changing. This starts at this delay and counts down to zero. And then we set that variable to the maximum, which is the delay. Then we're just going to message the player saying in green, create place, right click it to edit it. Now we're going to do on break, players game mode is creative. Then we're going to remove the event blocks location from this variable. <clears throat> and then we're going to message the player saying crate removed. So this is if you are in creative and you broke the crate, it will remove the crate from the variable. We can also make this in red. And then now we're just going to do an else to this if statement. Oh, if you want, so you can do if statements like this, or you can add an if at the beginning. It really doesn't make a difference. And now we're going to send an action bar to the player. This is if they are not in creative, saying you can only break this crate in creative. Now we're going to let admins actually edit the crate. So we're going to do on right click. And we're going to, then we're going to use this variable again. Crates lock contains event blocks location spelled this wrong then we're going to check the game then we're going to check the game mode of the player now we're going to cancel the event and now what we're going to do is we're going to create a gui if you if you don't know what a gui is basically it opens an inventory to the player like for example a chess inventory or hop inventory where the player can click things click items in the inventory like if you were to go onto hypixel and click the compass where you can choose game modes that's a gui and now we're going to open a hopper inventory to the player named crate and now what I've created here, so basically this opens a hopper inventory to the player named and then in green crate and then in gray it's going to have, this is just an, a way to identify the crate from other crates. This isn't really for the player, this is more for us. This shows the crates x coordinate, y coordinate and z coordinate. Then we're going to set slot zero of players current inventory to an arrow named and then in red delay minus with the lure and then this is going to be a variable so the lure is going to be the delay variable we made up here the maximum delay and then what we can do we can just copy paste this line paste it down here change this to one change this to green make this a plus and then that's that done then over here we're going to set slot three of the player's current current in then we're going to set slot three of the player's current inventory to black stained glass pane and it's going to be named nothing so basically this is just going to be a filler block okay so this isn't going to make much sense right now this line so basically what this is doing it's checking if this variable which is the the crates location then the the crates that the players clicked on and the items of that crate so this is uh, an item variable it can be named anything, it's just where we're going to hold the items of the crate. And we're going to check if that contains what the player is holding. So right now, this is set to nothing, but we're going to set this in a bit. Then we're going to set slot 2 of the player's current inventory 
to the player's hold tool, so the player's tool with the lower click to remove this item. So the reason why it says click to remove this item is if this variable actually contains the item. So if this item is inside the crate when it's so it's inside the crate's drops, if you click this, it will remove the item from the drops. And now we can just do else. So if this variable so if this variable does actually contain the item that the player is holding, then we can just say slash set slot two of the player's kind of inventory to place tool with the lower click to add this item. Then we're going to say if the place tool is air, so if they're holding nothing, it will set the slot to a barrier block named hold an item to edit it in red. And then finally down here, we and then finally down here we're gonna say set the fourth slot, which is the last slot on the right, to a barrier named delete. So if you click this, it will delete the crate. We're gonna code this in a bit. And then before we move on to adding the items, you just need to go up here, open this up a bit. And we're going to do every one second. So we're going to loop all the crates. And then we're going to check if the delay right now is bigger than zero. And then if it is, we're going to remove one from that variable. So this will definitely be bigger than zero when you first place the crate, because as you know, it is setting it to 10 over here. So as long as it is bigger than zero, it will be removing one from it until it is zero. Okay, now, one last thing before we do the items is up here, after cancel event, we're going to set the variable last edited, so this will help us with the items. Last edited, the player's UID 2, and then not actually event blocks location, I did this wrong. We're just going to copy-paste this, then in quotation marks, we're going to have it this. So this, like this, is just a way to identify this jet, this crate. On, in, on inventory click if name of the event inventory is create and then last edited which will be this so this is where this variable is coming in handy it's just so you can identify the crates down here we're going to cancel the event if the index of the event slot is 2 so this is checking if the slot clicked is the slot which is the item slot you know, check players tool is not barrier so this is checking if it's so this is just making sure you can't add a barrier block to the crate which will because if you do it will mess with this now this here is where it gets semi-complicated so here i've made an if statement if crates location and then the last edited it's items contains the place tool so it's basically this up here <coughs> so if it does contain the place tool and you, so if it does contain the place tool so if it does contain the place tool and you have clicked this, it will remove the place tool from this variable. It will play a sound to the player. It will close the inventory and say removed in chat. And now this here, this is just an also if it does contain the place tool. So if it does contain the place. So this is just an else. So, so this is an else to this if statement. So if it does, if this variable does contain the place tool, then it's checking if the player's tool is air, which, which means it is nothing, then it sends hold an item to the player, a sound, and closes the inventory and stops the script. So if the player's tool isn't air, it will add the player's tool to the variable. It will play a sound, close the player's inventory, and say added. So this here, so this is checking if the event slot is 4. 4 is the slot which is going to delete the crate. So here, when you click it, it will remove the crate from the variable. Then it's going to close the player's inventory, message deleted crate to the player. Then it's going to just play a sound and set the block at the location to air. Actually, I just noticed I actually made a mistake up here. So instead of this, we must put, we must just put the event blocks location. I know I made it this before, but it turns out I was actually right the first time. Uh, we also need to change it so we can just copy paste this here and change this to that. Now, what we're going to do next down here is we're going to actually use these two slots, the delay minus and plus. So here, what I've added, so basically what these lines are, so this checks if the event slot is one, then it would, so if you did click the first of its slot, which is uh, the plus, it adds one to the delay of the crate, the maximum delay. It plays a sound, it then sets the first slot to the new delay, so it actually updates in real time. This does the same with the minus. 
Then down here, this is just the exact same, but it removes one for the minus. So slot zero is the minus. And then here on the on right click, so we're gonna add an all statement to the if place game mode is creative. And then we're gonna say if, and then the create variable event blocks location delay right now, if it equals to zero, we're gonna cancel the event and play a chest open animation at the event block. This just plays an animation as if the chest was being opened. Then we're gonna loop the chest, the, the create variable, I mean, and we're going to loop its items. Then we're going to drop the loop value, which is going to be the item that's being looped, at the block above the event block. Then we're going to play a sound at the player. Then we're going to wait 0 0.1 seconds, so this loop isn't like doesn't happen infinitely without a delay, which would crash the server. It wouldn't happen infinitely, no, but it'll happen without a delay, which would crash the server. We're going to wait 0 0.2 seconds before we play a close animation. Then we're going to set the delay right now to the maximum delay, which resets it. Then we're going to say an else statement to this. So if the delay right now is not zero, we will send an action bar saying the create the create delay is active. Then we're going to send the delay in seconds left. Then we're going to cancel the event. Uh, one more thing uh, down here, change this to change this line to event item is not a barrier because I was actually wrong earlier. It should be event item is not a barrier. This is just so it does nothing when you click hold an item to edit it. Now you're just going to copy the whole thing and head over to your MyNote panel or whichever server provider you use. So on the MyNote panel you need to head over to File Manager, go to Plugins, scroll down to Script, Scripts, and then you're going to create a script named crates.sk. Then in that file you're just going to paste this and hit save. And then just hop back onto Minecraft onto your Minecraft server. If you want to learn how to create something like this I also made a tutorial for that. So you can go check that out after this. Anyway, so you're going to want to do slash sk reload crates or whatever you named your script. Then once it's reloaded, you should be able to do slash get crate. That should give you a chest called place crate. And you can place that down. Then you can right click it. Then should it say crate and then the location of the crate. Uh, after the z coordinate, you don't really need to know this information. This is just for the script to identify the crate. And then here, this is the delay, so you can up the delay or decrease it. This delay is the time between when players can open the crate. So I'm just going to set this to 5 for testing purposes. This, so you need to hold an item to be able to add to this, and this is for deleting the crate. So I'm just going to get some items to add to the crate. So I'm going to add this, this, And now if you want to remove an item, just click on it with the chest. Just click on the chest with your item or the crate. And then it should say click to remove this item. So I'm going to add this back for testing purposes. Then I'm going to head to... I'm going to head to survival. And clear my inventory. So now if you right click this crate. There you go. It spawns all the items above the crate. Now it should have been 5 seconds. Now if I try to click it again, it says create delay active. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions about these tutorials, please join my Discord server and ask there. I have a whole channel dedicated to script help. And you can also give me video suggestions there and just support me by joining it. Anyways, thanks guys. Cheers.